Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to the Moodle Development Forum. This is all set up to help you get started with Moodle 2.2 here at HSU. So let's take a look at what we've got. In this particular section, we have specific tasks to perform. First, we have a welcome at the top, and there you'll read that on your own. I don't have to read it to you. Next, in bold, it says the theme used on this page. We're going to put that at the top of each page, including some of the sample sections, to help you determine which theme you like the best. Next is a link to our next step on the tour, uh, the intro to Moodle 2.2. And then in Topic Area 1, we have Plugins. In Topic Area 2, we have Issue Reporting. And number 3 is our Wish List. OK, let's specify our terms. What is a plugin? A fair question. If we come to the right-hand column, we see two items. One is what we would normally use for faculty information a picture of the teacher, the time, date, and room of the class. And that's called an HTML block. That is a plugin. Right below it, we see recent activity, also a plugin. There are many, many plugins available for the new 2.2. So to help you have input into which plugins we utilize, here we've created a forum in the center section. This is for you to say, oh, I tried this plugin and it really didn't work, or wow, I really like this plugin and I hope we use it, that type of thing. And to save you some time, right below it we have here's the Google group list of active plugins. You give that a click, and I'm just going to go there very briefly, and you will see eventually, here we go. One of the nice things about test environments is they can take a little longer. Here you go. This is our Google group. Uh, what has happened is we have searched out, and I want to say about 60, 75 plugins. Wow, as I scroll down, we're up to about 94. There's 94 possible plugins. I'm going to come up here to the top. Let's say I'm interested in the data form plugin, item number 12 here. If I wanted to go to the Moodle page and find out more, I could click. I'm going to come over to column F. Is it installed? Well, yes, it is. And there's been no contact one way or the other. You don't have the ability to write here. That's what the forum is for. But if you notice the top five, book, multinumeral, grid, weekly format, and auto black, these are things that have been tested and we've found they do not work. This is to prevent you from going to a forum saying, oh, I'd really like to use the auto black feature. You can come here. You can see we tested it, and it's not working at the present time. Doesn't mean we're never going to use it. It just means Moodle or the program plugin developers have not put it together yet. I'm going to use the back arrow. I'm going to head back to the class. And that's what plugins are all about. Let's come down to topic area two, issue reporting. And this is if you try a plugin and it doesn't work, or you look at a feature and you find it's just really buggy, please feel free to note that in the Moodle issue forum. Plug in information in one, Moodle issues in another, and finally, number three is the wish list. That's, boy, I would really like to see a plugin that does A or B or even A and B together. So that's what this section is for. I'm going to do what you would do next. And notice I am in a student view. Each class you enter will be a student view. When you click it, it's going to ask you to enroll in this class just as it asks you to enroll in the Moodle Development Forum. I've already done that. So when I click it, we will, through the power of computing, be taken to the intro to Moodle 2.2 section. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and you go ahead and click and jump to the new section, and we'll see you there.